Now it's time to run the project. npm start. The application is running. I have to go to the local host colon 3000. I need to show you the API Explorer. And you can see that we have the API or the rest endpoints for our product controller. First of all, I would like to create a new product. I'm going to use tryout. I have to specify the ID. Let's say I'm going to use the four. Learn Node.js, QTY, which is one. Price, we need to specify the price. Let me update the ID. I'm going to provide one. So you can send the request by pressing this execute button awesome a new product has created you can see that when you open the db.json file you will see the product and you can see that id ids we have an ids object we have two products like this is the maximum id you can say that if i will add a new product now you will see the here three so let's try to add a new product I'm going to provide two. Oops, we need to change the name. It could be, let's say, MacBook. I'm going to provide QDY, which is 2034. We also need to specify the price. A new product has created. Now you can see that the ID, which is three, and you will have two products. It's time to find all the products. You can count that. You can see that we have two products. You can also get the product on the based on ID. So I'm going to provide the ID here. Let's say I would like to get the record with ID number two. You can see that we have found that. Now it's time to test the patch method. I would like to update the name for the first product. I would like to replace the learn node.js to iPhone. ID which is one. I don't need to update anything here. I'm gonna, I also want to, I just need to update the title. Let's say iPhone X. iPhone X, you can see that it is updated. 